This one slowly hit to the left side. Fermin's got it. Off balance flip throw. Is the 238th ejection of the regular season, most since 2003, is also one of the stupidest. Cincinnati is leading 19 2, having a good time. That is until Will Benson steps to the plate in the eighth inning. On the throw. Fifth time. Benson is. This isn't one of those situations where he's missing out, hasn't hit. He's going to be two for five. That includes the strikeout here, including a triple four total bases. So it's not like Benson hasn't gone in on the action yet. The pitch. And After striking out, Benson says something to Cuzzy who walks away. No, the pitch wasn't low. Benson decides to follow the umpire. And I'm thinking here, did I miss an ejection? Usually a player does not follow an umpire like that unless they were already ejected. But Benson, not ejected yet, just waits for Cuzzy to come back. Bill Cuzzy went to David Bell and tried at least twice to say to get Will out to the outfield. It's a 19-2 game. Strike three was right on the edge of that strike zone vertically. I thought the baseball savant graphics were perhaps a little generous because of the tall zone. But nonetheless, this was a strike. If it was called a ball, it would be incorrect. And finally, Benson came in and disagreed with Cuzzy's explanation to David Bell and then got thrown out of the game. This leads to a pointlessly long conversation in a 19-2 ball game. And David Bell wants a further explanation from Cuzzy. The pitch wasn't all that bad. It is a route, but the zone's the zone. It turns into a, we don't have enough substitutes, so a pitcher comes into the game, we lose the DH. Well, he actually went to David Bell and said, please get him away from me because he, he wanted to walk away and, and kind of diffuse the situation. And Will kept coming after him. And David is still having a discussion out there with Phil Cuzzy long after Benson's been escorted off the field. It reminds me of Ejection 45 Craig Council where Chris Guccione walks away and Craig Council follows him. He just said you need to get off the field. That's what I see. Umpire tries walking away, player follows, appeals to the manager, player runs through and gets thrown out. As the Reds have to make a couple of other changes defensively now that Benson's been tossed out of the game. I would assume it looks like David tossed as well. Bell actually is not ejected. Martini goes into the field. He was the DH, and that means by rule, the designated hitter is done for the rest of the game. The pitcher spares will have to bat. But it's the eighth inning, and the game is 19 to 2. A couple of other changes defensively now that Benson's been tossed out of the game. Freddie Benavides. Because he now gets tired of Bell's antics and walks away to diffuse and no ejection results. That's how easy it is. Walking away helps out sometimes unless they follow you. Whack, get out. Get away from me, Steve. In any case, back in Cincinnati, Bell realizes, hey, I have to make another line of substitution. And so he goes back to Cuzzy. And this time it's more friendly so this is part of the fun for us as well in the all dh world we're not used to seeing the dh getting pinch hit for the reds will lose their dh because martini has to come in and play defensively that's a learning experience i would think for benson and one that i'm sure david bell will talk to him about but david bell is the league leader right now with seven times being ejected do i hear an eight Oh, oh, oh. Seven and a half. No, he's going back. Okay. 